Recently, I purchased this power meter. It's sold by different sellers, but it's all pretty much the same. The model number is PM01-US. And this is what it looks like. The sticker on there says X0030TCBI3. Or this is off of Amazon like I showed in the very beginning. So let me show you it. it. Comes with the manual. You don't really need the manual to use it because I used it without the manual. It just tells you what the seven different displays are when you hit the function key. The one that I'm really just worried about is from the start it shows you the wattage and then the next screen is your amount of power used in kilowatt hours. So those two screens are the, really the only things that I'm really worried about as well as resetting the device. Sorry, show you the part number. Function key goes through the different screens. You can't see it right now because it's not hooked up, but I'm scrolling through the different screens. You can barely see it. It has a screen cover, which I'm going to leave on because I'm cheap like that and I don't take off my screen covers. Again, there's seven different screens that I'm showing you over here, which I'll show you when it's plugged in. They have a cost button, which I guess uh, you can enter in how much the electricity is per kilowatt, probably, and you can get your uh, total cost. They have this up and down button for uh, adjusting stuff like you probably use the up and down button for the seventh screen, which is for the uh, overload. But anyways, uh, let me go show you me using it a little bit. This is the first screen, which is how much watts is running through it. So if I plug it into something, which I will right now, plug it into this thing here. You can see the wattage is changing. This is actually the desktop behind there. And I can go ahead and turn on the power. You can see, it gives you that reading. The function key over here will go through all the different screens. I said there's seven screens. Next one is how much kilowatts were used as well as the time. So I've already used this for 17 hours with this PC in the back, it's an Optiplex 9020. Press it again, it takes you to the voltage screen, how many volts it's using. So I'm under a 120 volt uh, usage uh, over here tells the I guess maybe the amperes I'm not sure so this screen I'm not too sure about this screen tells you what was the lowest record wattage highest record wattage during the time the overload so this is the seventh screen and once you get to the seventh screen it takes you back to the first screen, which is watts currently being used. And then the second screen is, what's it called? How many kilowatts of electricity have been used? So again, overload is the seventh screen. And then it, if you press function one more time, it takes you back to the first screen. You probably set up cost by pressing the cost button and then adjusting things, but uh, let me tell you about this. After a few minutes, the screen turns off. So if you want to get the screen back up, you can press the up button or the down button. But I think pressing up button will get the screen back on. Um, the very last thing that you, you'll need is it comes with these two. It's included with these two deal, pin dealy thingies. The last thing I want to mention is there's a reset button over here in the middle. 
I'm guessing you could probably reset it without it being plugged in. You go unplug this. So if you need to reset uh, this power meter, you just need to insert this. Let me move the function over to the second screen where it shows the, the what do you call it? A reading. And I'm going to press reset using this tool that they give you. They give you two of them. Press reset. And it resets it and it's back to zero again. First screen, second screen, which we're on, and now it's erased completely. And that's it. Just wanted to show you this power meter. Overall, it seems pretty decent. Um, I haven't had, I've just been using it for a day, but so far it looks pretty decent. And I guess my only concern, well, I'm sure there'll be other concerns, but in terms of the second screen where it tells you the total amount of energy used, uh, it might not be super accurate because I was charging uh, my MacBook Pro and the numbers seemed kind of high. So if you're expecting something that's super exact, I, I don't think this, for $10, I don't think you'll get that. You might want to spend more money on a kilowatt <clears throat> power meter. But if you're looking for something just to give you a general idea of how much electricity is being used, uh, this might be it for you. Over and out.